every car is a driving car. I'm not looking at collecting cars that you will park in the garage and look at. This is Pratap Singh Gaikwad and welcome to the Buggy Khana. So welcome to the Buggy Khana. And let me introduce you to a very, very special car in my collection. This is a 2011 Abarth Tributo Ferrari edition. This car is number 666 out of a production run of approximately 1200. So this is a numbered car from the factory. The significance of this obviously is that it's called a, a Tributo Ferrari, which means that Ferrari has had an influence and has also approved this model. The number one being the color, Rosso Corsa Red. Uh, it has the striping, which is very similar to the Ferrari F430 Scuderia. She has special brakes by Brembo, special rims. The interior has uh, carbon fiber and most importantly has an additional 20 brake horsepower. So very, very special from two points of view. One, obviously, because it's numbered and it came as one of uh, 1200 from the factory, but more so that it is number one of one in India. And the story behind how this car came to India is another very interesting and adds tremendous value as far as I am concerned. After all that talk, now let's go for the drive and enjoy ourselves and really see what this car is all about. First thing I always do when I get into this car is hit the sports button and put the transmission into manual, into paddles. And that's when you can have the maximum fun. As you can see, the ride on this car is fairly firm. And I mean, if I had to pick at it, I would definitely say that, you know, that's one of the things that I dislike because I find that it's proportionately much harder than what it should be. The second thing that we are immediately faced with is the turning circle. For such a small car, the turning circle somehow on this is really, really bad. But apart from that, once you get going, the sound of the vehicle, the performance, the way she pulls, it's, you're, you're just smiling all the way through the drive. So, as far as the gearbox is concerned, I definitely find it very clunky. And uh, in fact, the first time I got into it and I drove her, I, I first, my immediate reaction was that there was something wrong with it. But uh, once I drove it and I understood the type of gearbox that she has, I had to adapt uh, the gear shifts to that and almost had to lift at times when uh, shifting gear. And once I've gotten used to it, now, I mean, I, I, I'm quite enjoying her. What I like about this car, obviously, is the size. Um, so it, it's very nimble, it's, it's perfect for the city. Uh, it's got great sound, the, the performance is there when you need it. Uh, so these are the factors that uh, sort of make it practical uh, in a way. And, uh, and it's nice to get into a small car uh, and, and at the same time have the performance coming out of a car of this size. But the steering feel is nice and also once you're in the cabin, everything is functional. 
even the music system it's so easy you just uh, plug it in and you're listening to your iPhone again another very great factor about this car is the road handling i mean she really handles like she's on rails i mean you are just feeling so comfortable at high speed you're turning it's great and again supported very well uh, by the quality of the brakes so again overall the package i think works to giving you something which really gives you great driving pleasure and yes this is it definitely gives you a ferrari feel and uh, and i'm sure there are, there are many a ferrari owner <laughs> that would love to get their hands on this car uh, because i'm sure she'd look amazing parked right next to another red ferrari She was originally owned by a very very dear friend of mine so I am the second owner now but the interesting fact is that he was in Zurich in 2010 he was in a car which was in a bar with a friend of his and he was pleasantly surprised as to how a small car like this could have such great performance and he asked his friend as to where he could get one of these to take back to India his friend in fact advised him to wait and not order that model but to wait for the tribute of ferrari edition which was about to be launched so he did he came back to india he contacted the fiat agent and he inquired for the tribute of ferrari to be uh, sold to him he didn't get much of a response he was asked to get in touch with the fiat dealer in turin he spoke to the dealer the dealers were extremely reluctant and basically said that if uh, they were to sell the car to him then the warranty would be void he said no problem i I'd, i'd uh, uh take the car without the warranty it's not an issue but again they were still reluctant and said that you know there was nothing they could do and it would be difficult for them to supply this car to him this made him want the car even more than he did earlier so he got in touch with his friend once more and said and explained the difficulty that he was facing he requested his friend to speak to mr elkin mr elkin was a friend of his friends he explained the situation who then passed on the message to the dealer in turin few days later he he got a call from the dealer in turin who was extremely surprised because he had never received such a phone call from mr elkin's office and he was happy to sell this car to him to be taken to india that makes it so special and this car was never offered in india and therefore this was the only one car that came into the country and till now is the only one car which is here okay come now let's uh, have a look at some of the fun bits on this car one is obviously the exterior accents some of the carbon fiber some of the special ferrari badging so over here as you can see the 695 tribute of ferrari is well displayed a special badge on the side as well Another fun part of this car is that it comes with its own fitted luggage which is another great feature. So as you can see uh, his and her luggage for a fun weekend away from the city. From here you can get a good view of the carbon uh, seats again similar to the Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Then on the interior again the special seats lovely carbon fiber interior that there is. and another very nice touch that uh, they've given is the key which again very similar to the ferrari f430 scuderia now the most important thing the way the car sounds it sounds incredible and it's on stock exhaust so let, let's let me let me give you a quick listen to it This is the most fun part that while it's got performance she's got the sound as well for you to enjoy and and it's she is great great fun to drive and with only 7600 kilometers she's a very very low mileage car there there've been no um additional or aftermarket products that have been put onto it in order to maintain the originality of this car hope you guys enjoyed this episode on my abath see you soon